Hey viewers, several weeks ago I began working on a new uh, battle bot, my second one. That one there being my first, which you've seen in some of my other videos. Um, the main difference with this one is the weapon is a vertical spinner, as opposed to this one being horizontal. So things get hit by this one, they go flinging off that way. Things that get hit by this will get flung up and out. Um, it's not completed yet. I've got the batteries, uh, batteries for the weapon, three rows of, uh, six cells of, uh, lithium ion, and the, uh, for the drive, it's, uh, I think it's about 9.6 volts of, uh, nickel metal hydrate batteries, and the, uh, the wheels, the drive for this is um, salvaged uh, drive wheels from um, one of those little, um, what do you call them, robotic vacuum cleaners, self-automated robotic vacuum cleaners I guess you would say. <coughs> and um, they're self-contained, there's a motor and <coughs> planetary gear system in them. They're uh, very torquey but uh, low speed. So, these are the motors that were in them. Just simple little DC motors. Their uh, top speed is about 7,000 RPMs, which made this wheel, these wheels turn very slowly. So I, I swapped them out for uh, some of these here. They're a little smaller, but they're much faster. About 26,000 RPMs. So over over two times the speed of these other ones, and uh, there's only two. I've got them in the middle, so the weight of this bot is balanced pretty much uh, over the over these wheels. It can it it can um, do that. I'll show you underneath here. See, so it's just got two. Uh, Two of these here in the front, because the weapon here weighs more than everything else, so the bot wants to uh, lean forward, and these here just keep the weapon from hitting the ground. Um. The weapon itself, believe it or not, is actually the hub motor to a ceiling fan. Uh, I stripped the copper windings out of it to uh, lighten the weight on it and um, using a router I created a wooden pulley for the belt because I had nothing else that would work and this works just beautifully. It's perfectly balanced and works just great. Better than anything it would have been able to buy because I've, there's very little space between the the side there and the and the drum. I've got it secured with just uh, three bolts on that side and about four or five screws on there. The controller is just out of an old remote control car. It was uh, something I got a long time ago called the Scorcher. And that's just a remote there. Here's a little three, uh, six-wheeled red car. You could do 360s on the spot. It's, it's I've uh, played with it for a lot of years before I went to storage. But that's the controller and the and the remote for it. And it, even though it's six volts, it I mean, it's getting about nine and. Uh, the board seems to be able to handle it just fine, so let's hope it keeps handling it. Um, there's not much else in this video. The weapon motor is a 24 volt motor. I don't know what I get it out of. Um, it's quite torquey and uh, gets this weapon up to a pretty good speed. Um, 
In my next video, you'll see me running a test on this weapon. Or, no, sorry, in the next video, I'll be doing a drive test with these. And then in the next video will be a, a weapon spin-up test on this motor. So, um, stay tuned for more videos on this. And then finally we'll get to uh, test it out against some things. See what we can wreck. <laughs> Until then, thanks for watching.